the world of cyber security, we sometimes witness events that make us realize how vulnerable our digital infrastructure can be. Today, we're facing such a moment. A global computer outage has led to a cascade of problems affecting society on various levels. Websites are down, hospitals are postponing operations, and airports worldwide are experiencing severe disruptions. It's easy to say that we're dealing with one of the most impactful computer outages in recent history. The cause seems a faulty update carried out by one of the world's leading digital security companies named CrowdStrike. This company, which specializes in protecting large organizations such as banks, airports, hospitals, and prominent American enterprises, has accidentally rolled out an update that instead of securing systems, is actually disrupting them. Oops. To put this into perspective, imagine you have an advanced alarm system in your house. The system is so intelligent that it can distinguish between an intruder and your pet. Now imagine that an update to this system causes the alarm to go off at every movement, including your own. This is essentially what is happening on a large scale with this security software. This software, which we can compare to a very advanced antivirus program, has deep access to the systems it protects. It constantly monitors for suspicious activities. But due to this faulty update, the system has become overactive, blocking or disrupting legitimate processes and activities. The severity of this situation can hardly be overstated. It exposes how dependent our modern society has become on digital systems. A single error in a crucial security system can have far-reaching consequences for our daily lives, from the failure of essential services to the disruption of critical infrastructure. This incident serves as an urgent wake-up call for organizations worldwide. It underscores the necessity to critically evaluate and strengthen security protocols and update procedures. In a world that increasingly relies on digital systems, we simply cannot afford mistakes of this magnitude. To effectively defend against cyber threats, security software requires deep access to systems. This is comparable to a security robot that not only needs to monitor the front door, but also must have access to all rooms in a house, including the bedroom and the closets. If an intruder enters, this robot must be able to remove the intruder and inspect everything. However, this deep access also carries its risks. When a mistake is made, it can lead to severe damage at a fundamental level, such as with the Windows operating system. In the worst case scenario, this could mean that Windows can no longer boot because essential components are damaged. The current outage is of an unprecedented scale and impact. It's a situation we have rarely, if ever, seen before. CrowdStrike, a billion-dollar enterprise based in Texas, is normally a leading player in the cybersecurity sector. They've concluded extensive research and uncovered numerous threats to protect organizations. It's therefore a nightmare that they now appear to be the cause of this worldwide disruption. The panic within CrowdStrike is undoubtedly big. Organizations affected by this outage, such as hospitals and financial institutions, are facing significant losses. It's expected that some of these organizations will attempt to claim compensation, which could further complicate the situation. The financial consequences of this outage are enormous and difficult to express in billions of dollars. The incident also emphasizes how dependent the world is on systems like those of Microsoft. Although Microsoft may no longer be the trendy name it once was, a large part of the world runs on their software. Microsoft's market share is enormous, and if something goes wrong with their systems, it has far-reaching consequences for virtually every organization. It's a clear reminder that in the modern digital economy, the stability of one large company can influence the stability of many others. In this situation, it's crucial that we look not only at the immediate consequences, but also at the broader implications for cybersecurity and digital dependency. It's a moment that calls for reflection and action, not only from the affected organizations, but from the entire sector. The dependency on computer systems in our society is a crucial point of concern. It's not just about digital attacks, but about the bigger picture. Our digital society apparently has an on and off switch. This is a reality we need to thoroughly prepare for. We've seen this before, for example in 2017, when the largest world port in Rotterdam was largely shut down by a cyber attack. The question now is, how do we ensure a resilient digital society where essential operations can continue, even in the event of a major outage or attack?
Microsoft's enormous market share in the IT world is a double-edged sword in this regard. While it's an achievement to serve such a large part of the market, it also raises questions about responsibility and risk distribution. From an operational point of view, it might be wiser if the market share was more distributed among different players. This would ensure that if one system fails, no more than half of the global IT infrastructure is affected. If, after all this, you no longer trust Microsoft, a video will be coming out soon about how easy it is and why you should switch to Linux now. This discussion aligns with concerns that the US government has also expressed about Microsoft's dominance, not only in general IT systems, but also specifically in the security sector. It's as if the whole world has the same lock on the door. If a master key ever comes into circulation, anyone can enter. This underscores the importance of diversity in our digital infrastructure with more security companies and different security layers. Regarding the current situation, all indications are that it is indeed an error on the part of the security company itself and not a hack. They have issued a statement themselves acknowledging that there are problems, although we can never completely rule out that there are malicious actors behind it. We've seen in the past that there can be backdoors in software. There is currently no indication that this is the case. Unfortunately, this is how the digital world sometimes works. Most damage often comes from errors or outdated systems, not from targeted attacks. The solution to this problem appears to be complex. The issue is deeply embedded in the systems and may need to be addressed per server or per organization. This implies that it's not a matter of a quick fix, but a process that requires time and care. There are likely a number of actions that need to be performed individually, which slows down the recovery process. This means that if a company has 10,000 laptops, perhaps all of these laptops need to be updated one by one. It'll therefore take a very long time before this is fully restored and operational again. This situation, once again, underscores the importance of robust, diverse, and resilient digital systems. It shows that as a society, we need to think about how we shape our digital infrastructure so that we don't become too dependent on a single system or a single provider. It's a wake-up call that forces us to think about the future of our digital society and how we can better protect it against both technical errors and malicious actions. The complexity of the solution for this outage is becoming increasingly clear. It appears that manual actions are needed to resolve the problem, which poses an enormous challenge for large organizations such as hospitals with thousands of devices. This is not only time-consuming, but also prone to errors. Without a faster, more streamlined solution, organizations may continue to suffer from this outage for days, if not weeks. This further emphasizes the severity and scale of the problem. For individual consumers, it's important to emphasize that this specific outage is primarily aimed at organizations. The advice not to perform updates is not applicable in this case and can even be harmful. Updates are generally well-tested and crucial for system security. Consumers are therefore advised to simply continue updating their devices. The impact of this outage extends far beyond mere inconvenience for consumers. Postponed operations in hospitals can be life-threatening, and the consequences for government agencies, including army-related organizations, could have far-reaching implications for international security. The International Cyber Security Center is on highest alert to map out the full extent of the crisis and assess the impact on sensitive systems. Given the current information and the visible impact, we can state that this may be the largest computer outage we've seen to date. The consequences already seem to be greater than those of the digital attack in 2017, which affected, among others, the Rotterdam logistics port. This situation provides a crucial opportunity to think about how we should deal with such problems in the future. This unprecedented outage underscores the importance of robust, diverse, and resilient digital systems. It shows that as a society, we need to think critically about how we shape our digital infrastructure so that we don't become too dependent on a single system or a single provider. It's a wake-up call that forces us to think about the future of our digital society and how we can better protect it against both technical errors and malicious actions. The coming period will undoubtedly be filled with in-depth analyses and discussions about how we can increase our digital resilience and prevent or better manage similar incidents in the future. This crisis once again emphasizes how merged our digital and physical worlds have become. It demonstrates that cybersecurity is no longer a niche subject, but a fundamental aspect of our national and international security and well-being. 
The lessons we draw from this will be crucial for shaping a safer and more resilient digital future.